Today we're starting off with a big chunk of oak. Um, after my failure of attempting to make a carving mallet, I decided that I should redeem myself by making an actual mallet. So that's what we're going to do today. First, we're going to get this piece round. Uh, don't mind my finger there. The chisel cut it, but it's fine. Um, first thing we're going to do is get this round and get it shaped to size. I've made a, um, a gavel before, and I knew this would be a similar process. Uh, I thought I was being really smart, though. I was going to turn the piece round and take it to my belt sander, sand the piece flat, and then drill a hole into it so that I knew it was center. Instead of doing what I knew would work, which was drilling the hole first um, and then turning. But you live and learn, it still comes out all right. Uh, good enough for me to use anyway. So some of you might have noticed, might not have noticed. Uh, either way is fine. There wasn't a video last week. And that's because for the last two months, I've felt just terrible. Uh, all of the videos that I've put out during that time were videos that I had pre-made and I ran out. So that's why there wasn't a video last week. Uh, but yeah. After turning and sanding the piece, I applied uh, some feeding wax as a finish. It's just, you know, wax and natural oils. Uh, and then after this, I took it to my belt sander, sanded part flat, took it over to the drill press and drilled out a hole. And now we have a piece of, I was told this was hickory and it was really hard. It felt kind of like hickory. It weighed almost as much as uh, the oak piece that we started with did, uh, but now I'm going to turn this into the handle.
after working on my tenon here, I knew it needed to be a half inch. That's the size hole I drilled into the piece of oak. I took a half inch wrench and used that as my sizing gauge instead of having to use like calipers or something like that. After turning the handle, I decided to just go ahead and torch the outside of it. Uh, I know right now it looks very, very uneven, which it was. I'll go back over it again in a minute. Um, but after I burn the outside, I take a clean cloth and turn the lathe on, hold the cloth against the wood, help clean up all the soot and stuff. Then I applied a very, very thin layer of the feeding wax. Um, anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Remember that I love you, God loves you, and I'll see you later.